Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. This is going to be a quick little general check-in for Divine Soulmate Connections. Okay, you could identify with the Twin Flame connection. It doesn't really matter. All right, we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy. And I will be looking at them in parallel, so like going back and forth between the two just to see what is going on. Um, it is going to be general as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, although um, we might get into a specific group, maybe it will be more general, we will see. I actually wanted to get more videos out this week, um, but it was just really, it was a crazy week for me. So yeah, I am a little bit late, so I do apologize about that. But yeah, I think that's about all I had to say, so let's get into it. Oh, and if you want a personal reading, that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see what is going on with the masculines. We're going to start by getting a few oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. So what is currently going on in this group that we're tapping into today? All right, and we have the thinking woman. Okay, so this is actually very positive for the masculines because it does show that they are um, tapping more into their feminine energy when it comes to the way that they think about things, which means that they're not thinking as anal analytically um, in terms of practicality and just using their mind. They're also using intuition and the heart in order to think about whatever it is that they are thinking about. Let's see what else we get for the masculines. All right, and we have the number 13, which is isolation. Okay, so it could be that for some of you, you're not in much contact, or it could even be that the masculine is just kind of keeping to him or herself, like just um, kind of like a hermit, right? Kind of like the hermit in the traditional tarot. Self-isolating, just keeping away from people, not being very active in their social life. Let's get from one more deck. So we have pride and ego release and action. Okay, so well, this re the release part actually came out first, not that it really matters, but definitely it feels like they're releasing whatever they were holding on to in terms of pride and ego. Okay, and this in some way is related to the feminine. So for some of them, for example, maybe they were not communicating with you, maybe they were holding back, holding back feelings, or staying in some other kind of a situation because of ego, right? And ego could be like a whole bunch of different things in the way that it can play out, okay? So it's going to be different for all of them. Point is, is that they, I feel like this isolation and the fact that they are thinking more from a, an intuition perspective, that is helping them to release their ego, right? And actually taking action on that, on whatever it is that needs to be released. And because this might be a little bit difficult for them to process, this is why they would be also in some kind of an isolation, just keeping away, right, from other people. So let's get a few oracle cards for the feminines before getting into the tarot. So let's see what is going on with the feminines. And also just real quick, this is them just also just releasing their pride and ego, even if it um, pertains to them communicating with their feminine. Okay, so maybe some of you have had some communication recently or whatever it was, this pride, this ego that might have been holding them back, they are now releasing that, which is pushing them towards taking action because once that ego is not, you know, controlling everything anymore, then action is possible. All right, so for the feminines, we have the sun. All right, very interesting. Let me get a few more. I feel like you're trying to um, really focus on your happiness and on being authentic. Let's see, and we also have number 16. I don't really remember the word, the keyword for this one. Just give me one sec. Yeah, expedition. So it's like you're trying to, 
you're trying to do new things possibly or move in a direction where you are trying out new things or just trying to live life in a different way than before um, in order to pursue just a happier way of being. Let's get a couple more. For the feminines. Okay, so we have reinvention, barrier, victim, and shadow work. Okay. So that's quite a bit for the feminines here. Pretty deep stuff, actually. So it's like you're, I feel like you're taking a lot of steps in order to be able to find that sense of fulfillment within yourself, in order to be able to find happiness. Almost like, well, I'm really glad we have the reinvention card um, with these other two cards here, as well as shadow work, because I feel like what you're doing here is you're breaking down your barriers, right? You are reinventing yourself in a way where it's like you are yeah, just breaking down whatever it was that was serving as a blockage. And for a lot of you, that could have been some kind of a victim mentality um, holding you back. Holding you back from, from releasing certain blockages that you may not have even been aware of. And that's why we have shadow work here, because you, you're doing work on yourself. For some of you, it's more deliberate, more conscious. For others of you, it might be... a more of a subconscious activity just through your daily routine, through your daily life and events that happen to you. But there are certain things that are happening that are helping you to reinvent yourself in a way where you are breaking down those barriers, especially when it comes to feeling like, you know, you're just a victim to this situation or to whatever situation. But I'm seeing this as you having felt like you were a victim in the situation concerning your, your divine masculine. And you're having some breakthroughs here and it's happening through shadow work. And this is because you're becoming more aware of yourself, more aware of your thought processes, or even just more aware of the dynamic and certain things that were happening between you and your masculine and that awareness in and of itself is helping you to reinvent yourself and to break down those barriers whatever it was that was blocking you from being able to move towards you just feeling better you just feeling more um, like you're in a higher vibration all right so that's actually pretty positive for for the feminines and the masculines with that releasing of the ego so let's get into the tarot let's get just one card for the recent past for each of you Recent past for the masculines, what kind of an energy have they been in? And we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so the masculines um, were have been in an energy, and because this is the recent past, I don't feel like this is the energy that they are in now. That's the whole point of getting this, is to see what they are coming out of, right? And it's um, some kind of a denial, not taking action, being stagnant, not wanting to see certain things. Let's see for the feminines. And we are going to clarify some of these. Ooh, for the feminines, we have the tower. All right, so for some of you, it might feel like you have recently had some kind of um, either feel feeling like you've gone through like a dark night of the soul type of an energy or just feeling like a huge shift has happened within your life. And that would actually make sense with the energy that we got in the Oracle cards, right? If you've just been through a tower where maybe you've had like major realizations about this connection, we will clarify and see. Um, but whatever that is, it makes sense that after this tower, right, because it is in your past, you are able to start rebuilding, you are reinventing yourself. Because of that tower, you are breaking down those barriers, coming out of that victim type of a mentality and actually actively pursuing your happiness. It's like you let that tower fall. And for some of you, because time is relevant, for some of you, this could still be um, an energy that you find yourself in, okay? Um, but know that it is, it is temporary. So let's see what's going on currently for the masculines. And then we'll see what we want to clarify. So masculines kind energy, please. All 
All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Judgment, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so for the Masculines, there's been a pattern that um, has been repeating itself over and over and over again for a lot of them. This is something that they're gaining a lot of awareness about, right? And it's some kind of a pattern that was very negative. It kept them stuck. It kept things from being able to shift. There's been a lot of, of awareness about that, almost like, like a huge wake-up call. And whatever that is, it's helping them to, to resolve some kind of conflicts. I actually feel like this might involve other people not necessarily another love relationship, although for some of you it definitely could be, especially if you're dealing with a masculine who is in another partnership or relationship. But for others of you, this could be just other people in general, even society. And there's something about that that was keeping them stuck, living the same cycle over and over and over again. Something has definitely shifted here. They're not wanting to participate in drama. They're not wanting to allow themselves to be influenced by others overall. And a big part of this is because they are thinking more intuitively now. Whereas before they may have been thinking, um, you know, more in the masculine type of thinking, which there's nothing wrong with that. We need a balance of both, right? But now they're, they're more tapped into their intuition when it comes to how they're thinking. And so with the feminine type of thinking, right, it's more intuitive. It's not so much based on what other people are going to say, how other people, you know, are going to um, recognize them status or just anything along those lines. And this is also very much in line with that isolation card, right? Because they're, they don't want to be a part of any kind of drama with other people. So I feel like they're really taking some time to their own self. They're releasing that ego, basically, how others view them or what other people are going to say about them. Overanalyzing, thinking too much about the, just too, too rationally rather than, okay, how do I feel? So let's clarify um, before we get into the feminine. Let's see that two of swords. All right, and we have the sun. All right, so very similar to um, <laughs> to the sun for the feminines, except for the masculines, we're clarifying the two of swords. So basically, they were they were shunning out their sun. They were shunning out their truth. They were shunning out their happiness. They were not able to see what it is that could bring them happiness for a lot of them, or they were just denying it. Like they knew it, but just stagnating on what it is that truly makes them happy and fulfilled deep down. Because I do feel like for most of them, they already know, they and, and they have known. So I don't feel like this is actually um, representing them being in denial in the recent past. I don't feel like they were in denial. I feel like they were just deliberately putting on a blindfold and choosing to just not look at it. this wheel of fortune and we have the six of swords in reverse yeah living the same like i said it's the same cycle over and over again not leaving some kind of conflict behind right not moving away from a, a particular pattern <clears throat> that was repeating itself let's see judgment We have the hanged man. Definitely seeing something from a very, very different perspective here. Um, but this awakening though, right? This, it's like they're able to see the pattern that they've been living over and over and over again, which has kept them away from their happiness. This is also keeping them in that, in that isolation as they process it. It's like taking a step back and just looking at the situation because this judgment card, it's, it's a huge awakening. It's a huge realization. And they may have had many of these before in the past, um, that could definitely be the case. This particular one, though, it, it is involving other people in some way. And this is also that realization of how much time is passing, is what I'm getting here. That time is passing. <clears throat> 
and that they have all this time they have been stuck in this cycle which I mean there was a reason for it but you know eventually it's gonna have to shift if they want to find that happiness that Sun let's see the five of wands the page of Pentacles for some reason that card was in my mind <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot that they have learned from this uh, situation involving other people. I feel like they've learned a lot about their about their own self. They realize that having engaged or allowing other people to pretty much um, dictate how they live their lives, this has held them back and time is passing. So there's a lot of lessons here that they're learning. And also with this page of pentacles, I'm getting like, they just don't want to give much to this anymore, whatever that is. Because for each of them, it's going to be something different. So pretty much pulling away from anything that has not been serving them and from anything that has been causing drama. I'm seeing it more of drama, like just moving away from drama and seeing how that has held them back and, and kept them from their from their happiness, right? Which is a big part of that. Not, I mean, of course, you can be happy without your divine counterpart. But for them, in this particular situation, it has to do with the feminine. All right, because this is part of their happiness because that is what they want and they have allowed themselves to be influenced and dictated by external um, forces. So let's see what's currently going on with the feminines. All right, we have death the Six of Cups, and the Star. All right. Yeah, you've definitely been through something here. You've definitely been through something. There is an ending, all right? Whatever that tower was, it has brought some kind of an ending. For some of you, it can definitely be relating to your masculine, you feeling like it's just done, like it's just over. For others of you, just really wanting it to be done, really wanting it to be over. Although there is still some nostalgia here. You are still thinking about the past with um, this person. And there is that part of you that still has, there's, there is some hope here. You do still have hope, but you're also allowing the situation to be done if it is done. Like there's still some kind of a transformation here. Let's just clarify these a little bit. Because it looks pretty interesting. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you've definitely released something here. I do feel like it has to do with the masculine. For others of you, it could just even be um, other things in your life that may have been holding you back. But I'm mostly getting that, and that could still be the case, as well as releasing um, the outcome, expectations concerning this situation. Something that you are holding on to really tightly. And for some of you, it's going to be like more than one thing. It could be that you were somehow forced with this tower to release something else in your life, to let go of something else in your life. And then because of that something else that you released, it helped you to also release the situation with your masculine. So let's clarify the current energy. Let's see death. The two of wands in reverse. Yeah, no more waiting. You're not waiting. You still have hope, but you're not like actively waiting, planning, you know, um, spending time and occupying your mind and energy for this connection. It doesn't mean you don't think about your masculine. It doesn't mean you don't still want the connection if it were to um, you know, somehow come into your life and, and, you know, form in a way where it would be in alignment. But I feel like you've released anything really obsessive or just the, uh, the thinking. Let's see the Six of Cups. Yeah, the Devil in Reverse. 
So yeah, this is what this is about. Like you, you are in this energy and if you don't feel like you're in this energy, it, it could be coming up for you. Okay. Or take it as, as guidance. Um, you're, you are thinking about the past, right? There is that nostalgia for this connection, but with the devil being in reverse, it's not in that obsessive way. It's not with attachment, or at least if you're not there just yet, this is what you are working towards, right? Through that shadow work, through this reinvention, through pursuing your own happiness. This is the direction in which you are moving. I feel like you're also releasing fears or anything that was keeping you stuck to the past. Like I said before, anything that was keeping you like a victim, it's like there's been a tower to something that you were holding on to so, so tightly and rigidly. Let's see the star. The nine of swords. Mm, okay. <laughs> so there is a part of you that does still kind of hope or wish for this, but I feel like that actually stresses you a little bit. Like you don't really like the fact that you still have the hope. And that's probably because you feel like, well, if I just didn't want this at all, if I just didn't have any hope for this at all, well, then things might be a little bit easier. Like, I don't want to want this, but know that you're already doing a really good job. All right, of detaching, of getting out of any kind of devil's energies. For some of you, this could even be, you know, um, releasing other forms of addiction or bad habits, breaking cycles, even unrelated to your masculine. And then in some way, it's all interrelated anyway, because that's the message I was getting up there with the, with the um, tower also is that it's like when something happens in your life, and you do something for one area of your life, like releasing something or um, breaking a cycle in something else, it's like, it like it's activated. That energy within you is activated and then it's also applied in other areas of your life, such as the area concerning your divine counterpart. So, you know, pay attention to other things that are happening in your life is what I'm getting because those those can kind of point you to what might also be happening within you concerning your masculine. So, yeah, let me, you know what, I want to get just, um, for the masculines, let's see a little bit more specifically their energy towards their feminine because I feel like this was, um, this was general. So, masculines current energy towards their feminine because okay, we know that they are pulling away from external influences and drama but what about their feminine all right we have the the empress she did show up kind of sideways uh the page of wands and the six of wands in reverse move them here so you can see yeah, so the masculine is really holding you up high on a pedestal here, right? They're seeing you as their person, as their as the empress, like you are just full of abundance. You they might even be seeing you as just being very successful regardless of what your practical situation might be like. There's there's a desire here to communicate with this page of wands. Um but they're feeling very small in comparison to you. All right, six of wands being in reverse. They don't have that courage to act on what they want right now. It's like they're feeling, because the six of wands is also the card of victory, right? And it's in reverse. They feel defeated. They feel like they, they you know, they messed up. Like they, whatever it is that, that has been happening. And that's why I'm saying that they feel small in front of you because whatever it is that has been happening or their behavior has not got them to where they want to be. They're not feeling, you know, what they would want to be feeling. Like feeling, you know, um, prestigious in your eyes. And it's not really a bad thing, to be honest with you, because this is also representing that release of the ego. And it's taking them a little bit of time to process that. Like, okay, you know, my ego's down. I, I admit I feel defeated and... Um, you know, my feelings are stronger than, than what I thought. Um, 
and it's it's kind of like the the intuition and the emotional side of them has won over the rational side of them which was also holding on to the ego their appearance, their self-image, their image to the outside world, their image to their own self, their image to you. And now it's like they're getting rid of that. So they're feeling a little bit small, okay, in comparison to you. Let's, uh, let me leave them here. Let's clarify these. And then we'll see what's coming up. Let's we'll see the Empress. Wow. Yeah, they're seeing you as just being, um, what's the word? Very much in control of your own life. They're seeing you like really high up there, you know, that you, you are fair. You got it all together. You have your shit together, basically. Um, I feel like for a lot of them, they're also seeing that you have been... Like, you were right. You were right about something. And so it's like they're looking up to you. But again, right, because they're still in the process of um, destroying their ego, you know, it's kind of hard for them to just be like, to come up and be like, yeah, you know what, you were right. Um, because that's not easy. It's not easy. They're feeling that, but it's not easy to express that. It's like their masculine, the masculine is thinking, you were right all along. That's what I'm hearing. You were right all along about whatever, okay? For each of you, that might be different. Let's see the page of wands. The eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like they're feeling this new motivation as well. Um, a new drive for communication towards you. And it's keeping them from moving away from this connection with that Eight of Cups being in reverse. So I I actually feel like at the moment, some of them might actually be, some of them might actually have communicated with you. All right, if you haven't been in communication for those of you, you're already in communication. So this would just represent them you know, feeling this, this drive, this urge, possibly even wanting to communicate something more. But whatever the case, the masculine is not, not able to just leave you behind. Definitely not walking away from you, even if there has been um, a recent separation. They're not walking away from you. They're still very interested in what is happening with you and feel like you, like you were right all along for something. Let's see the Six of Wands. Yeah, seven of wands. So this is what I'm saying. Um, it's because of their ego coming down and they're feeling really, really vulnerable. Because once the ego is stripped, that also means that a layer of self-defense mechanism is stripped. And so because they're feeling that vulnerability because they don't have that self-mechanism <laughs> self working anymore, right? They, they might be feeling a little bit defensive, which again, some of you might be like, yeah, but isn't that a self-defense mechanism? Yeah. Okay. So it can get really complicated. So I don't want to go into it too much, but basically, no, they are, they have been aware of that self-defense mechanism from the past, which is that two of swords. So they're releasing the ego. And so they're just feeling a bit of, okay, a need to protect my vulnerability at the moment because it's still fresh. It's kind of like, um, it's like having had a scab and then like you you tore it off. It's kind of like that. So that so the skin underneath now is really fresh. And so you want to protect it. But there is no defense mechanism there. There is nothing on top of it. So it, it I mean it's raw. So I hope you guys can get that analogy because this is how the masculine is um, feeling right now. So there might be communication with a little bit of protectiveness for some of you and then for others of you if they're not yet. Again, it's because they're kind of protecting the um, <laughs> that wound, basically, of where the self-defense mechanism used to be. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to look at this type of energy for the feminine side because I feel like you would know. Um, I feel like it pretty much came through 
in what we already got. So let's just see what this is moving towards. So let's see for the masculines, what is coming up in the near future, next couple of weeks or so. Oh, I guess this wasn't as quick as I thought it would be. It's already half an hour. All right, and we have the star. So yeah, first of all, this is this is a lot of hope. Number one, number two, this is healing. Number three, this is also divine guidance. All right, and so I'm not going to pull any more for that because I feel like it just really speaks for itself. It's not anything very specific, but that's all we need to know is that it is something very, very positive, all right? And I feel like it's a healing of that wound, right? Of the ego. And really getting that support from the divine to move forward in alignment with their higher self. So let's see for the feminines. So for the feminines, this could even be just guidance. Yeah, because we have the three of swords in reverse. Okay, yeah, see, so you take this as guidance if you don't feel like this is happening for you, but this is, um, healing for you as well, healing the heartbreak, not feeling that pain as intensely as before. This by no means um, means that you are completely getting over your masculine, all right? You don't have to try to force yourself for something like that, no, but the pain can be eased regardless. So coming out of that deep, deep um, heartbreak, and it's related to everything else that we talked about up here. And I love that both the feminine and the masculine have the star. Yeah, it, it, it's like it feels like the masculine is like a step <clears throat> behind you, right? Because you have the star in your current energy, which also is representing healing, right? For you as well. It's also healing that anxiety, that stress. Even though it's you wanting this connection, which is also causing that stress. But you are still healing. And for the masculine, right, that same energy is... <clears throat> coming up, but for their own ish issues. All right, so. So basically, things are getting easier for the feminines. Because <clears throat> I feel like you've really been through a lot lately. I also feel like a lot of you have been through some kind of an isolation as well, and the masculine is currently going through it. So let's get a couple of oracle cards to close this out. And we have come to the edge. That's where the masculines are right now. They're standing at that edge, ready to take some kind of a leap, ready to start something new here, even if it's just a new way of being. And I do feel like it's very much related to that judgment card. all about a resurrection and something new. Coming to the edge, really pushing themselves to their limits. And again, <clears throat> just gonna say this again because that's just what it is. This has to do with them releasing that ego, pushing themselves to that edge because that's a scary thing to do. It takes a lot of courage to strip away an ego that has been there for so long, the self-defense mechanisms that have protected us and you know just helped us to cope with certain things. That's where they are coming to the edge to, pushing themselves to the limit. Um, okay, well, we're going to get, get one more. <clears throat> Just any message from the masculine's higher self to you. All right, and we have new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. This is the masculine, I, I feel like this is them wanting this love to be new, right? To start off on a, on a different foot in order for it to be different. 
And take this as it resonates, all right? Because for some of you, this might resonate in a different way. Take it however it makes sense for you. This is just the message that I am getting with this. Um, it's like them being able to see, okay, what love is when it comes from a spiritual place, a spiritual connection, right? That is for spiritual growth. For some of you, this might even be pertaining to something in your work, having a new love for maybe mission work or something to do with your work, okay? So if that makes sense for you, then take that message as well. All right, guys, that was it. I thank you so much for watching and much love.